it's kind of scary, you know. That nobody is around. Nobody. You could tell us instead the story of uh, why you went to the beach today. Who pushed you to go to the beach today and what did you do? I come home, Luciano was excited, let's go to the beach. So I said, dude, it's already starting to rain and maybe the, the hurricane is coming, you don't know when it's coming. He showed me his radar, he has this app, my radar and stuff like this. And it was pretty great, he convinced me, let's go to the beach. And it was actually the best experience of the day. Die of the hurricane zone, big one, people got scared, got out. Angelo, that's a beautiful experience. So we get to have the city just for us. Eh? Exactly. So outside was everything clear and nice. I took my skateboard and I ran out. He took my camera, he noticed it, and he filmed me from the balcony. I find all the streets empty. I actually wanted to go in the pedestrian area. And then I thought, there is no car around, you are alone. <laughs> so I ride on the streets alone. The city is, is like a ghost city. It was a strange feeling. It's like before the hurricane, you feel it, it's in the air. I'm alone in Miami, the hurricane is coming. This is the feeling I think that you get if you are the last man on earth. How is to be the last man on earth? It's like this. It's a ghost city and I'm the ghost. I made a ride, then I took some, I took some water, I, 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 some splashes with, with the skateboard and the, the brakes didn't work like, <laughs> like they should. At the beach, the storm really came, like really. <laughs> this is so crazy! And it was actually the best experience of the day. <laughs> and this was the highlight. It was the best thing we've, we've done today. You can see it behind me. It's really impressive. Now it's a window. Now it's really quiet. It was much worse. It was much worse, trust me. With so much rain, it's coming the flute also. Everything is gonna be flooded. I think I know the electricity will go off, but I thought it would go off tomorrow or something like that, not today, like the earliest one way. The electricity is gone, man. What now? You know the system with the light on top of the water bottle? It, I've learned it in Africa. People take old bottles and put a small lamp on it and they light the whole house.
Mm-hmm. That's how I learned it. Yeah? Yes. Nice. And if not, we'll go to Jan Marco and... He's, he's a, you know, more like, uh, he doesn't want to break the law and shit like that. I said, let's go, let's go in the curfew, let's break the curfew. Yes, we're gonna meet our friends over here. Here they are. Dude! Jan Marco! Allora. Guys, come in. <laughs> We do illegal okay, stuff. These, is, these are brave guys. Yeah. These guys are brave. So Luciano, tell us. We have everything else, like in the fridge. Alcohol, food, uh, devices to watch, movies, projectors, whatever you want. You know, we, we could stay a week in the house if we have electricity. Look at the fridge here. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I think we bought too much. Abbiamo esagerato. <laughs> we get excited a little bit. At 315 dollars at Whole Foods. Good, pretty good. So here we are, man. Double blogging. Yeah. We have Jaffe, you guys, my Jaffe, right? Yeah. So it's pretty intense, but uh, hey, we're gonna host these guys as long as they want to stay. Yeah. Hopefully they stay a little bit because it doesn't look good outside. It well, really doesn't. We'll stay till we catch the next wave. <laughs> I'm gonna check the radar and when I see it's not raining and it's safe, that's when we're gonna head back. Oh, a really nice Hello. evening. Hello. Here's our story. We got everyone. I mean, everyone in Italy, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Poland, Germany, everyone texted us. They're all scared, they all checked the news, they all going absolutely nuts. So we decided that we wanted to go to Naples. To go to Naples, you know, it's on the other side of Florida. It's about, what, 200 kilometers, something like that. We were about to go over there, and then, guess what? We realized that the hurricane wasn't going to hit Miami anymore. It was going to hit the Naples side, the west side of Florida. So guess what we said? We're not going. We stayed here because our course of action is this. Over there we would have been at the first floor on a big huge house, as beautiful as you want, but you're on the first floor. Here we're on a cement building, third floor, hurricane proof windows, and you can check later we put sandbags all over over there. So yeah, we're pretty good over here. And we're having gas, we have people on the fifth floor, first floor, and we're all, you know, we're a community. We're here to help each other, so we'll be fine. The hurricane is supposed to get here tomorrow morning. Uh, maybe in the afternoon, we don't know sure, we're not too sure yet, but yeah. Tomorrow we'll see, and uh, when it comes, we're ready. Everybody is working with the cameras. So that's the hurricane fever. Thank you, man. Thank you. You should always open the door for me. Of course. So actually the door, which I know exactly for another dimension. Okay, so this is fun. Dude, this was fun. I love it. Thank you very much. Let's do it again. Yeah. Like when the hurricane strikes. <laughs> so now we, we didn't have any adventure actually. Now we, we came like nothing happened. Bye bye guys, good night. Alright bro, stay safe, keep me posted man, I'm doing some editing right now. We're having some uh, cold breakfast, so <laughs> talk to you later bro. 10-4 Roger. Today we're going to try the Kama grip and I'm very curious if it's going to work.